Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in. This is Ali, Technical Marketing Engineer with Cisco Systems Wireless Network Group. Today I'm going to demonstrate an HA running on a wireless LAN controller with 7.5 code. We have client connected to SSID demo HA. Also, we have clients running WebEx meeting and the client is also sharing desktop with other users who are also connected to the same SSID. On top of it, we're going to do a Bonjour gateway demo as well. One of the clients using a reflector app, which, which is sharing iPad screen. Here we have a controller GUI running 7.5 code. This is a 8500 GUI, but it's similar as 5508, 7500 as well. So we have three clients connected as you can see and this is configured as a HA so this controller we have configured as a primary and the redundant management IP address we have 10.10.40.10 10 and the peer which is a secondary it's 10.10.40.11 10 the redundancy port IP address is predefined that means the first two octates 169.254 are self-generated and last two updates 40.10 are taken from redundancy port IP. We have set the redundant unit as primary and enable the SSO. Basically in 5508, 7500 and 8500 controllers have a dedicated redundancy port which is used to sync configuration from active to standby controller. Also, keep alives are sent on redundancy port from standby to active WLC every 100 milliseconds. That's a default timer to check the health of the active WLC. We have configured WLANs, demo HA, and demo HA bonjour uh, to do the demo. To see this, we have three clients connected to the SSIDs, uh, two to demo HA and one to demo HA Bonjour. Now we jump into the CLI of active and standby controller to check if the configuration have been synced. We're going to run a command show AP summary on active controller and a standby controller to see if the AP's information has been synced on both the controllers. As we see from the output of the command that both the controllers active and standby has the same configuration of the AP. As in 7.5 release we have client SSO all the information of the clients have been synced from active to standby controller and we can see that by running show client summary on both the controllers. Before we do a quick failover test we need to run show redundancy summary on both active and standby controller to check the local state as active and on standby local state should be hot standby and peer state on active should be standby hot and the peer state on the standby should be active. The client connected to the demo HSSID is running a WebEx meeting and we are sharing a desktop and also it has a reflector app running on it which will showcase the AirPlay services as we connect to the Apple iPad. To showcase the Bonjour services keep intact while the failover we have an Apple iPad connected to the demo Bonjour SSID and on a different subnet as of our client. Also, our AirPlay device is connected on demo HA, which is a different subnet. Now, to do the demo, we're going to force the switchover of the active controller by running a command redundancy force switchover. As soon as we run this command, it asks us to save the configuration and the switchover takes place. The active is now become uh, standby and the standby controller becomes active. Also we can see all our applications are intact and we are still sharing a desktop on WebEx uh, plus the Bonjour services like iPad is still being mirrored on our uh, AirPlay device. Once the failover initiated 
we were running continuous ping as well to the gateway and we can see the few ping drops but all the applications were intact from the controller CLI we can see that the primary has become hot standby and the secondary is currently active now to demo the power outage scenario I'm going to unplug the power cable from the active and we are still mirroring the device on an airplay client and to conclude the HA demo we can see all the clients are connected and we have a zero downtime which is like we are running WebEx meeting, sharing desktop, working fine and Bonjour services are playing as well.